Дорогие друзья, мы продолжаем серию интервью с мастерами третьего международного биосферного форума. С вами Мальфар Карпатский из биосферного поселения Биополис. Сегодня мы будем рады показать вам интервью с Мишелем Якуби. Совершенно удивительный человек, который оставил все, карьеру, успешную жизнь по современным меркам и перебрался в Карпаты для того, чтобы восстанавливать поголовье буйволов. Hello everyone, uh, today uh, we are having a very nice uh, and interesting conversation with one of our partners, Michel uh, Jacobi, uh, who is together with us uh, living in Kepathians uh, uh, for the last 20 years uh, and um, helping uh, our nature to restore. Um, he is dealing with buffaloes uh, and uh, with nature in uh, Kepathian uh, Bio-Reserve. Uh, uh, and today we are going to speak about uh, how to build sustainable uh, communities. Uh, what is uh, it, the um, connection of human and nature? Uh, how can we... Uh, how can we live uh, together with nature uh, in harmony? as well as uh, he would uh, pr um, present his uh, projects, his books, uh, and so on. Uh, we are having this um, conversation in English, and then we would make the uh, Russian translation for everyone, or you could switch on to the subtitles. That is it. Uh, me, Malfar Karpatsky, is uh, presenting um, Michael uh, Jacobi. Thank you for this nice introduction. Um, yeah, my aim is here to build a sustainable community uh, because I realized uh, that after 12 years of work here in Sakarpatia um, that the shepherd culture that once was ruling this area is um, dying out. So what I have seen and what I have learned from history that uh, shepherds uh, were a very, very important part for ancient cultures. As the same uh, for the Hutsu people and for the Boike, and I believe for most of Ruthenian tribes that are living in the Carpathian Mountains. So I started with the uh, uh, Carpathian water buffaloes because uh, they were at the edge of extinction. So it was the first project and it was also my introduction to, to this area because I learned from the old people uh, how to keep those water buffaloes and I just became famous because I started to milk them, which was quite surprisingly for those people here because milking those water buffaloes seems to be not so easy. And But with some patience and empathy, it was possible for me. And then I realized that a lot of people have been trying to milk them and were not successful. And now coming back to me and I could start uh, explaining my experience and so on. Um, when I talk about sustainable communities, I have a broader a holistic point of view because sustainable word in English is a quite abused word. Like every big organization is using the word sustainability, although I have never seen anywhere any sustainable system except the forest. So uh, what we're trying to implement here is a long-term uh, relationship with the buffaloes. And um, how we can do this? It is uh, just in a group of people that is starting to build the foundation for the next generation. So it means um, we have to be able to install systems that, is, that are able to sustain the nature and not to take out more than, um, we, than the nature is producing. Хочешь больше никогда не ходить на работу? Навсегда забыть о стрессах, болезнях, кризисах и кредитах. Жить, любить, творить и развиваться в окружении друзей и красоты природы. 
Приезжай в биосферное поселение Биополис Международный биосферный форум Который проходит в украинских Карпатах Биосферные поселения впитали в себя все лучшее Что есть у эко-поселений и родовых поместий И сделали шаг вперед Здесь ты вспомнишь, как это быть свободным Узнаешь, что можно легко обустроить комфортную жизнь вне города и стать независимым от системы. Научишься полностью обеспечивать себя водой, едой, энергией и теплом. Отдыхай со смыслом. Мы будем строить дома-купола, взаимодействовать с водой и животными, укладывать глиночурку и гонт, делать печь ракету и бетон из конопли. Мастера международного класса и гости со всего мира приезжают к нам. Приезжай и ты. Здесь тебя ждут древние знания, современные технологии и настоящие друзья. Мощь и красота гор, нетронутая природа, купание в чистой родниковой воде, круглая баня, песни у костра и хороводы. Все это зарядит тебя силой, наполнит здоровьем, поднимет осознанность и подарит уверенность на твоем пути из города в природу. This is the meaning of permaculture design, as far as I know. Yep. Yeah, permaculture is a big part of sustainability. Um, but what I'm missing in in the permaculture is a holistic point of view when we go to the point of sociology, of psychology, of mass psychology, and of political uh, issues. Because we are all interconnected with a huge globalized system. And when we are talking about permaculture, we want to uh, political issues because uh, when our media and our political system is able to be so attractive to children and that they uh, just go abroad, yes. that they leave the community, it means we are we are not sustainable and that means we are um, not having a holistic answer to um, those questions that are brought to us by uh, by the economy and by the political systems so i would like to include all stakeholders that are participating in our community so that means we have to be up to date what is the necessity for economy what is the necessity for the people so what is in your mind what you need what do you believe you need from outside because the permaculture saying you are closing the skills so you keep the nutrition inside your system and but that means also to keep you inside the system and we don't want to imprison people All only works, and that's what I learned from the buffaloes. It's only working with love. It's only working on a voluntary basis. So that means uh, we have to be so good and so attractive that uh, people want to stay and that people putting their stuff in and that people willing to read books and understand the permaculture philosophy. Uh, Michelle, uh, I could uh, so, confirm yeah, um, when... uh, every uh, of your words right now. Uh, as for my side, um, it's uh, a pity to um, say, but uh, all those politicians uh, all over the world uh, speaking about sustainability, they're just uh, repeating the words of those who have been living uh, in harmony with nature for and studying how to do this for the last uh, uh, 30 50 years uh, starting from hippie and uh, continuing to um, today's uh, when we speak about eco villages my answer to this uh, what you were saying is um, that when we started with the hippie movement in 1968 Uh, we have only a few um, communities that survived until now. And the question is why? What are the mistakes they made? And I believe um, it's a new age philosophy that was misleading us. Um, because we uh, started to um, deny 
our roots. We started to deny our culture and we tried to invent everything from zero. And we started living um, with, um, yeah, let's say, non-formal way of living and ignoring uh, the circumstances of the society. So that means we were not respecting the society. We tried to get rid of our old society and build a completely new one. Uh, but when we try to do this, we should um, respect our development. So that means um, we cannot just act in this world as we would be alone. We cannot run around naked and uh, listen to rock music and uh, take any, way, any drugs to build up a new society. Um, what you need to do is you need to understand where was the problem and then little by little starting to um, learn from those mistakes and make it better. So when we understand that the little children uh, denying the way of the grandmother, like you have here those people that called babas, um, those old ladies that keeping one goat or have been keeping several cows and having in fact a permaculture society. And now we see that uh, their children are not willing to work with them anymore. Then we have to understand why. Is it not attractive to do this live or is it uh, that other like the television and other things that are promised by the new age society uh, that they cannot compete with it. So when we want to find a solution, we have to bring all those people together with their um, old wishes and with their new wishes and trying to understand where have been the problem. We can only put now um, a logical foundation for this. As we say, um, our the way of living of the old ladies is more healthy, it's more economic, it's more environmental friendly, and it's a little bit more sustainable than the usual city life. But therefore, we have to have a willing to live sustainable. And now it's a question how we can make um, sustainable living attractive to people so that they research by themselves and understand by themselves that they want to live like this. And therefore we need uh, beautiful systems. And beautiful means for me um, <laughs> logic, harmonic, synergetic, and a, a life, a life systems that are that are nice for other people, and living this um, with a very good example. I'm very happy to hear such words, because uh, we are moving together with you in our philosophy like twins. Uh, uh, we are speaking about uh, the same ways uh, for the last uh, 10 years of uh, living out of the system and uh, studying uh, the ways how to build uh, the um, eco-settlements, eco-villages. We have come to the conception of uh, uh, not the eco-village because uh, it doesn't have uh, in, uh, the uh, real background and the sense of the word eco, uh, ecology, eco-ministers, etc. We have come to, to the nature, to the uh, um, world which is around us. We have come to the biosphere because biosphere is the sphere of all living beings around us as well as the forest and uh, buffaloes and chickens and uh, everyone. Uh, so we, right now we have been um, working on this model for several years and now we are starting uh, on our own experience. We are building the first um, in the world uh, biospheral settlement as a model to everyone else. And you are quite right speaking about the attractiveness of such life. Because um, the Babas, as you say, which means the gate 
uh, in the ancient uh, Rus language. So the gate to the life, because Baba is the woman which gives new life. And this is a very old and interesting word, uh, um, subscribing the uh, information, what does it mean? Uh, and uh, when we uh, look uh, at TV or uh, the um, other um, mass media, we would see, uh, for example, villages where those old women, they are uh, not healthy, uh, they are not pretty, <clears throat> and they live a very um, bad life. And uh, the real examples of a really good uh, life uh, with harmony with nature, uh, they are not being showing on the TV. And that is one, uh, that's why one of our goals is uh, to make uh, the model of Biosphere settlements well known all over the world and to be able to spread it, uh, to show that uh, the comfort uh, is, uh, could be realized uh, in nature, but without uh, making uh, harm to nature, you know. Um, and it is possible, and we show it how to build quickly domes, uh, how to build uh, buildings with natural materials and how to uh, communicate with nature and not to take, as you tell, not to take more than the nature can produce. This is extremely important uh, things, uh, things uh, for uh, mankind today to understand. And what you are doing right now uh, with uh, your cooperation with uh, National uh, Bioreserve uh, Kipathy and National Bioreserve, uh, the same we are doing right now. We are, um, right now we are registering our model of biospheral settlement as a unique uh, biospheral object. Because um, at the moment uh, we have a very uh, serious, um, don't we, but uh, those who want to live like us, uh, they don't have a real uh, law system and uh, government uh, help uh, for this movement because we we could build only uh, the state beer reserve or state um, dendro parks uh, or state uh, national parks etc and you can't build your private own for example national park uh, and mostly I would uh, tell that one year, say that I want to live in the national park or be a reserve, it is forbidden. So uh, people, you know, today they are put it only into cities and they have only way to connect with nature, just paying money, get the ticket, go to the bio reserve, watch this nature for half of the day and then come back to to the city. So now we're working very um, extremely hard and making these uh, um, lower uh, propositions to change uh, the uh, um, difference in these lore. So to let the people build the biospheral settlements uh, which are really included into the uh, nature where the mankind and man and people who live there they study how to communicate with nature how uh, to make it uh, harmoniously not to uh, destroy the forests and lakes uh, and making this uh, big and vast uh, experience um, at the same uh, knowledge uh, so we could be able to spread it all over the world and make this kind of life uh, really attracted, attractive to everyone else. This is where we're going now. And I think that we're speaking about um, this uh, kind of thing. Uh, you and me were speaking just exactly the same words. I have one question to you, if you could please tell me why buffalo is called uh, uh, water buffaloes. Um, what is this name uh, coming from and uh, why is this name is so? Где бы ты ни жил на этой планете, за метр квартиры в многоэтажке тебе придется выложить не менее тысячи евро. А мечтать о стильном, уютном домике у озера вообще могут себе позволить только избранные. 
Конечно, здесь возможны варианты, но недвижимость – это не только цена квадратного метра, это местоположение, соседи, инфраструктура, договора с подрядчиками, время на постройку, согласование, разрешение, сдача в эксплуатацию, подключение к коммуникациям и инженерным сетям. А далее тебя ждут налоги, ремонты, счета за жилищно-коммунальные услуги. А можно ли обеспечить себя и свою семью прочным, современным, надежным, уютным, теплым загородным домом, потратив на это на 90% меньше денег и времени, чем стоит любая известная тебе недвижимость? Можно. Мы живем в таких домах и строим их для друзей. Дом купол 2020. Быстро, надежно, без согласований и счетов на воду и электричество. Это не просто загородный дом. Это дом, который ты можешь построить в любом приглянувшемся тебе месте за один день. В лесу или у озера. А если тебе захочется сменить обстановку, отправь его почтой в любую точку планеты. Немаловажно и то, что покупая дом в новостройке или коттеджном городке, ты обогащаешься очередного олигарха. Заказывая дом-купол у нас, ты делаешь благое дело. Помогаешь реализовывать биосферные проекты, направленные на сохранение жизни на нашей планете. Заходи на сайт домкупол.ком. Для зрителей канала Мальфар Карпатский эксклюзивные подарки.